and I am Michael Soroka here along with Nick Hauslander hey everybody. and Glenn Updike. Um, we're here to talk to you about the competitive gaming of classic and console arcade gaming. Um, we got a Kong off going out this weekend, but we got some got to do something first. Um, as many of you know, the ALS uh, Water Ice Bucket Challenge is going on. So uh, I've been called out by Tim Shovel Day. So um, I'm going to take the challenge. Nick's going to dump the water on me here in the beginning of the episode. Um, but I am challenging uh, Jace Hall, uh, Richie Knuckles, uh, Justin Wong, and Steve Wiebe. Uh, donate or dump uh, some water on your head. So. Here we go. Glad it's all you. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be entertaining. Our guest tonight, too, is Estel Goffinet. I got your last uh -huh. name right, right? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Perfect, buddy. Yeah, that's right. Here we... <laughs> I'm chickening out. No, no. <laughs> You're chickening out? No, no, no. Doing it for a new game. Just pour it on me. Ready? It was so cold. No. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Dude! Is that. Oh. Pork and beans? Pork and beans? <laughs> Pork and beans. <laughs> nice. Hey, Paul, come on. Put up some water here. Some... Can you dump some water? You have water? I have water. Alright, this is going to be. Alright, part two. <laughs> you need a bigger bucket of water. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was Mike Sroka getting pork and beans and water dumped on his head. But tonight we have Estel Goffinette, who's a world record holder on a couple games, uh, both arcade and council games. He recently did a kicker marathon that was over 50 plus hours for the arcade. No, nope, uh, that's 50 million points. 30. It was 31 hours and 40 oh, minutes. 31 hours for. Okay. Yeah. What was the previous record before that? Uh, it was 46 million and some change. And uh, he did that in like 30, took him 36 hours. 36 hours. Now yeah. it was. When was that record uh, done, though? Uh, I think that was more recent, 2009, 2010, maybe. Uh, Greg Lau had it. Oh, cool. So, yeah, it, it, it wasn't too long ago. And you have some council records, too, don't you? Uh, yeah, I have one on the Sega Saturn for Galactic Attack. That was back in 2011. I think it was 890-some thousand. You beat my score! Yeah. <laughs> Galactic Attack is awesome too. That's a fun game. It's a shoot 'em up I game. I love it. Yes, it is. And it's a really tough one at that too. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a tough shooter on the Saturn. I, I I do love the shooters. Yeah, me too. I those are the games that I tend to flock to on the NES. That like most of them. Like I've done Silver Surfer, Life Force, Legendary Wings. You know, most of them I. Those are kind of my games of choice. Silver Surfer, huh? Brave. Yep. Brave. I've actually done a couple different runs on that. I've done a no death, no smart bomb run, and I've done the world record. Wow. Which is like 700,000 I did. Yeah, that that's that's pretty amazing right there. It's actually not that hard of a game. And it's, it's, the levels are color-coordinated. Like, there's a certain level where you want to avoid all the purple stuff or a certain level where you want to avoid all the green stuff. I know that the angry video game nerd kind of made that argument where it was hard to distinguish what, what's in the background, like what you can pass through and what you can... Oh, yeah, die. basically you said yeah. everything, you, everything you touch, you die, basically. Yeah, it's not the case, though. It's, <laughs> the levels are color-coordinated. Like, this level, don't touch anything that's purple. You know? Yeah, I've only played that a couple times and just... That was it. I threw in the towel. But let's talk about what's going on as we speak. And that's the Donkey Kong Open. Oh, yeah. The Donkey Kong Online Open 4. The fourth yeah, one. Yeah, that started at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. 
So it's been going on for almost two hours now. Has there been any uh, submissions yet for the scores? Uh, not that I know of. Not that I, not that I've seen. I know everybody is starting to hammer away at it, so so to speak. <laughs> Yeah. So you know, we'll see some. Uh, we'll see an updated scoreboard by tomorrow morning, because a lot of people will be playing through the night. And you got I'm people who like. This... I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Mm. You'll see. Uh, there's quite a few people over in Australia, like uh, Steve Grunberger and um, Alan Stahl, who are playing right now, and I think it's like they're 15 hours ahead of us. Yep. So they'll be submitting some scores. Still daytime over there. But the thing is, is it's a it's a completely open tournament, and there's cash bounties to be had. There are cash mystery bounties and cash bounty uh, bounties for the you know the longest first man, the longest last man. I think they have a bounty for the arcade world record. Either that's yeah. fifteen or seventeen hundred dollars. It's a free competition. Anybody can register for it. Um, seventeen hundred dollars. That's last uh, time I checked. Yeah, yeah, they put in some money for it. So if you beat the world record on arcade during this online uh, contest, you can win seventeen hundred bucks. So there'll be quite a few people gunning for that. It's it's going to be interesting too, because, like I said, as soon as I get done with the show, I'm going and competing in it. <laughs> Just because I have a few goals set in place, I want to obviously beat my personal best. But I, I want to beat the Allens. That's my oh. goal. That's my goal. Can't get beat Brian, by the Allens. Brian Allen Stahl. There you go. Yep. What's uh, what's your what's your personal be uh, best? Three hundred fifty-eight thousand six hundred. It's not too bad. And that was done like a week ago when I picked it back up. I played it and then quit playing it for like a year. I played it for like a week solid. And then quit. And then picked it up like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, well, you're on your uh, definitely on your way for a kill screen. I mean, when you when you can reach three, four, five hundred thousand uh, pretty consistently, it just, just takes a little bit of luck, you know, because of the randomness of the game, and you'll get there. I've I've done two hundred thousand on the first man before, so if I can just keep that up. I'd, I'd have it no problem. Yeah, we just had uh, kill screener number 69 earlier this week uh, from actually Jason Wade, who performed that at the 16 bit bar and arcade there in Columbus, Ohio. I think his oh, final Oh, so he's a local for you. He, yeah, yeah, he's local for me. He's, uh, I think it was almost 890,000. Because he was, he, he's been playing. He put up a score of seven hundred and sixty-nine thousand a few weeks ago, and he finally, because he lives, I think, a couple blocks away from it. So he was the unofficial number sixty-nine kill screener. Yep. And uh, there's actually a couple people that are pretty close right now to getting kill screen. I know our our buddy Andrews pretty close he's gotten like a couple levels away and lost his oh. last man yeah he was a little over 800 and something that was it that uh was that this week 800 and what was he at 840,000 850,000 he was really close really really close but we decided to play some moon patrol tonight because this is a yeah. game that me and you both picked up around the same time yeah, although I'm getting a little better. I'm just learning the courses. So I think uh, my personal best right now is a little over 307,000. It's not too awful bad. No, that's that's really good. Mine's just under 400, like 380-something. Yeah. But, you know, uh, the difference between low 300 and, and what I did is like, what, a loop? For the most part, uh, yeah, around a well, that would be what championship course four, probably mm -hmm. four or five to get you almost around four hundred thousand. Yeah, 
But I was also like, I kind of put it down because I, I started playing Zookeeper and Donkey Kong. Ah, uh, yeah, Zookeeper. But I was playing Moon Patrol pretty heavily there for like a month. Uh, my neighbor would come over and after he got off work and we'd just play Moon Patrol for a couple hours, go back and forth. Yeah, I picked it up. I really enjoy it. And I know the local arcade that I go to in uh, Cincinnati here, uh, the place Retro Arcade, they have a great selection of you know classic arcades and they have Moon Patrol there. So I'm going to try to talk to him, uh, the owner, Carrie, and see if he would uh, loan me his Moon Patrol for a little while. <laughs> and then I'll give him his elevator action back. I need to get some practice on that. Dan wants to know if I can see the chat. Yes, I can, Dan. <clears throat> you want to fire up a game of Moon Patrol with me? I sure can. Let's do this. All right. Now, this will be interesting because there's a couple of sections that I know that we're going to be playing differently from one another. Like uh, Championship Course, the J section, those rocks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, of people Lindenburg have rocks. different strategies for that one, so I take it. I take it nice and slow. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit more uh, aggressive with that one, but I've gotten it down where I don't die very often on that. Once in a great while. Same here. I, I just mostly have trouble when uh, the UFOs start bombing you over the craters, and there's really no place to get to. Well, Sorry. if it did, if that game didn't have those UFOs, you could play it forever. Hey guys. That's, that's true. That's true. Hey, Mike. So how's it going? We're getting ready to play some Moon Patrol, buddy. Uh, oh, cool. Like we tried to do two weeks ago. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. Um, I'm going to try to beat your uh, Galactic Attack world record later tonight, so we'll, we'll throw that up. Yeah. Uh, Dan, good luck tonight at, at the uh, DKO. Get that million, buddy. I, I can't see the chat. That's Dan, man. Yep. Dan recently broke the speedrunning uh, Donkey Kong world record. One hour and 16 minutes. Awesome job. I, do you, now, we, you know, we've been kind of talking about this the past three weeks, and, of course, Donkey Kong has come into the subject, but... Uh, do you think that maybe somebody else or a different community of type of games would start doing something like this, you know, um, in terms of different games, kind of a weekend-type tournament? I mean, do you guys think it's needed, or do you think it's just because Donkey Kong is the only game that classic arcade people want to play every, you know, every once in a blue moon? I don't think it's the only game that the classic arcade gaming people want to play, honestly. Like, you have Estel here that almost got a million points, but he wants to go and play something else for the time being. Competitively, yeah. though. Competitively, though. I'm not, I'm not, oh, I mean, of course, we all play. Yeah, we all play different video You know, we all play video games, except for Nick here. Um, but, <laughs> 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 but, I mean, in terms of, you know, as an ongoing level, I mean, you know, it's this kind of the same thing as going over and over again, you know. I mean, I guess it's kind of like how esports is for modern games, you know. It's certain fighting games and that's it, you know. Maybe, maybe I'm in the minority where I want to see a major where I want to see a collection of games put together. Oh, they, they've done that. They did the Egg Bee a couple of weeks ago where uh, they they gathered a, uh, d like the Donkey Kong forums, Retro Uprising, oh, like whoever shit. wanted to I... make a team, whoever wanted to make a team could make a team and then everyone would vote on what games would be played for that during the yeah. tournament. Each, each site had to choose uh, four four games, four different games. Okay, and those websites. I, I was doing that on purpose. I, I was kind of, I was prepping you there, Glenn. And there's there's retro. And I'm asking you because you know you know more. I mean, I've been to the sites, but uh, what goes on at Retro Arcade? How, how do they compete? Retro Uprising. I, I'm mean? sorry, Retro Uprising. I'm sorry. It's all done through emulators, for the most and part. The, for the, the for cool the most part. part. It, and the cool part is it automatically does your scoring for you it sends i'm assuming the video replay 
uh, or the INP, it saves it automatically and automatically you, saves it to yeah. the scoreboard. Yeah, so what you do is of, after you after you beat after you get your score, the score right. has to be on the screen, and you just hit F12. That's as simple as it is. Yeah, and every and it works on any Windows computer, right? With does it use Flash yeah. or something? But everybody can play, and you can play any game you want and compete on a leaderboard with you know little to. You know, you can hook up a joystick, you can hook up, uh, you can still use your keyboard, but it's such a quick way to compete with others. I mean, that's what I was, you know, hoping Twin Galaxies could be at some point in time. Something similar, you know. Something similar. I mean, if yeah. Twin Galaxies could definitely go that route someday. I mean, uh, I mean, even Boy, with the... Uh, with Twitch and all of these other streaming sites becoming bigger and bigger, more gamers going out there and playing their games, I mean, it'd be really easy just to make a highlight of your real record run and send it over to TG. Yeah. All you'd have to do is just spend a couple of minutes, copy and paste the link, throw it in, and there you go. And it can be Everybody verified can by it. the community. So hopefully soon, there's good there's there's good there's good news on the horizon. But we'll, we'll wait. We're all waiting patiently and impatiently, right as some people are. <laughs> We've already waited uh, almost eighteen years. So I mean, it's another <laughs> Eight, couple. So <laughs> eighteen years <laughs> since we've wanted to do the. I mean, oh yeah. I mean, we've we've hinted to it in past shows, on on this show. About you know what we've always wanted to do for you know a grand video game championship. So, yeah, um, it's one of those things. It, it it will happen one day. Yeah, we might. I mean, we were we teenagers might. when we first thought of it. We might be in our forties when we actually get it done. But um, I'm fine with that. You know, no, it'll get done one time. It'll be great. <laughs> and Glenn will win, of course. Oh, no, Glenn! Yeah. No, Glenn has yeah. won, which is awesome. Yeah. So you can't be I a gotta, part of any of the planning. I gotta uh, keep my crown. Yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. man. You got you to gotta defend it. Yeah, because you're good yeah. at all games. Uh, now, you know, now the one you played in was pretty much a retro type of video game championship. You know, the one we're talking about is going to have everything new. So you're going to be able to keep up. It's going to yeah. have, unfortunately, it's going to have PlayStation 4, 3, That's two, not it's going to have everything. It's going to have everything. Arcades it's to the newest consoles. It's and not to a the problem. newest PC game, maybe. I haven't just, we haven't thought about that. Everything. You know, I mean, obviously, you have CDI, so you'll own that system. But we'll actually oh, yeah. have to use your CDI yeah, we'll for the competition. CDI, but, um. Oh my God! Are we going to do speed runs of like color, uh, the bears needs bears or whatever the game is? <laughs> hey, we're not going to pick the games where you where you know it all. Pick the ones that <laughs> yeah, you you're, pick, you're really you're gonna way pick, too good at bears. We're going to pick bears. the three games from CDI you don't own. Oh right. my god, some of those children games, even though that they're children's games, they were so buggy and glitchy that they're really, really hard. Well, you're going to have to there learn them. Go, man. I mean, come on, stop slacking. Uh, trust me, there's, Literally, there's, there's, been there's, some... a, there's a segment <laughs> on that Berenstein Bears game where you all you have to do is just throw a ball at a target, and it's like the most difficult thing ever. <laughs> because, like, the timing's completely off. If you if you guys really want to play a like a really broken CDI game for the competition, we'll play that mini golf game on there, the wacky world of mini golf. <laughs> is that what it's called? Yeah, it, it, a, and get this: the guy that narrates the game is Eugene Levy. Oh, really? That's awesome. Pre-American Pie. Yeah, pre-American Pie, like ten years. That's awesome. Good for that man. That that shows you what he was. He'd do anything for a buck, which is cool. I don't blame him, you know. Everyone's got to eat, man. <laughs> that game is completely broken, and, like, everything is based oh. off luck. Dude, That's I think I got crap. some portion beats in my ear. <laughs> no, what's great about that Berenstein Bears game is that, I mean, it's a kid's game, but it actually makes sense. That throwing the ball at the target game is preparing children for the failures that happen in life. Like, <laughs> you can really want something. And you can try your hardest, and just sometimes you just don't get it, and you have to accept that. All right, so got a little, um, <laughs> we got another trading card that Walter's coming out with here. 
Um, throw it up on the big screen here. Buh, buh, trading card. Who is it? Who's it? This oh, no, it, it's just today in Twin oh, Galaxies yes. history. Oh, one of those. Is today okay. the 22nd? No. Yeah. Is this 22nd? Yeah. Okay. For another couple um, hours. So this is a trading card that Walter has. Um, I got really fine print here. Let me use it. I can go up there. Oh, wait. No, it's not up here. I'm going to try. I got a little bit better sight. Yeah, let me see if I can. It's, I can't blow is it, it up. Is it here? That, that one, yeah. Sorry, guys. I thought we were ready. Jeez. Oh, I'll come back to it. <laughs> Terry, is it? Oh God. Yeah, uh, that's tough. Wow. Man, I'll get it. I see it. Up. Oh, I Live know. television. We're prepared. And I touched something, and I don't know what I did. Nick never Absolute. touched it. Would you want to like uh, fire up some Moon Patrol then? <laughs> uh, yeah. Give me one second. I can I barely get see it. Drink real quick, and I'll be right back. We'll fire some Moon Patrol. Yeah. I'll... No, it's not Google. Nick's gonna Nick's gonna beat the Galactic Tech World Record right now. Oh, cool! Oh, yeah, is he? I used yep. to be okay at this. Game. I was never as good as Mike. I was it's never fun as playing co-op. <laughs> we'll play that later. Oh, that's a, yeah, this is one of those games I I heard you guys talking about shooters like this. These are the games that I always gravitated to. to uh, the same. These are always my favorite games to play. They still are. They just don't oh, yeah. make them, you know, as much as they used to anymore. I mean, you, I know you could, you know, you can buy them. In other places, but these aren't the these aren't the popular games like they used to be, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean most most days is more or less bullet hell games that are coming out. Yep, pretty much. Well, what is amazing to me too is the the popularity still of first person shooters. Like to me, like unfortunately, don't get me wrong, a lot of them are great. I was pretty into the Call of Duties, especially when they first, you know, when Modern Warfare first came out, and I, I played the hell out of the first one, especially, but um, to me, it's like, when I see commercials for these games, like, they're they're great games, they are great games, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, it's still Doom, like, 20 <laughs> plus years later, it's like, why are we still playing Doom? Like, is it, when are the, are they ever gonna, and don't get me wrong, yeah, Doom is amazing, I love that game, I love Duke Nukem and Quake and all that, but to me, it's like, can't we come up with something new, like, ever? Yeah, but, you, <laughs> I don't know, like, but the new part is the multiplayer. No, I know, You're a I team. know that, I know that. I know. I just want something, I don't know. You just like killing aliens, we don't like killing other soldiers. <laughs> That's it. Just, I guess, yeah. yeah. I like killing, the, uh, you know, the pig cops and the Duke Newton. <laughs> That's a blast. Yeah, All right, going blast. on back. <laughs> okay, buddy. Who okay, else is we'll joining us in the chat tonight? Get ready to fire this up. Who knows? We got Nick going to beat your world record right now, so. <laughs> I'm doing a bang up so, job. So get yourself going. And trust me, Nick will be going about <laughs> three and a half minutes. It, it, it won't be like that. It won't be that hard. Thank you, Glenn. No, I, I, you know, I bet you if I was in a competition with a thousand people, I would not finish last. So uh, I'd put you in the top hundred. <laughs> would you? Out of a thousand? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. there's not even a thousand copies of Galactic Attack yeah. out there. So no, I'm just saying like overall of Galactic Attack. No, you're probably right. I feel confident in the Galactic Attack. Or in existence still. Yeah. So those, those people who've played it probably still, you know. Yeah, but there's a lot of people like there's a lot of people out there good at rail shooters too. So I mean, yep, sure is. There's so much fun. I I agree. There's still uh, hands what? down the. Oh, you're talking game. about shoot 'em? Oh yeah, shoot 'em up games like that. Yeah, yeah, just shoot 'em up games. Yeah, just hold down the button and fight. I the best kind of game they ever came out. looking for. Shit like that. Yeah, it's no exactly the oh, same yeah. thing. Radius or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Or the I like the horizontal shooters too. Was it? Yeah, no, same here. Or Life Force Boy over there. Or you, did you guys ever play <laughs> Forgotten Worlds um, for uh, for the Genesis? Sega Genesis? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, does I never had a Sega Genesis. Aren't that not, not lucky? <laughs> I'm a big Sega Sega fan. Oh, yeah, no, my. I love. Uh, I had the Genesis too. I never owned an SNES. I owned a regular <laughs> Nintendo. Three to one. <laughs> Got them. Well, just Three cut. To one. Oh. Damn cold, <laughs> For some reason, I'm having problems sharing my screen. Can you guys see it? It says no video. No okay. video, man. Yeah. It says I'm sharing it. No but... video. Okay, hang on one sec. Here. Nick's doing pretty good, though. Nick, 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 stalling for you. He's doing pretty decent. <laughs> He's like a pro at that game. I'm terrible at 1943, but it's still fun. <laughs> He's oh like yeah, I'm awful oh. too, but I have a blast playing it. Uh, yeah, I just like, like, oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, you know, 
that's the key. To we the had game. to play quite a quite a few shooters in the Igby earlier. Did you? I mean, uh, Macross, uh, Raiden, nineteen uh, XX. I think it was. Yeah, a lot of good games though. I have an old PlayStation yeah. One. It stopped working. I would have played like a whole bunch of old team. I got four of them. Give me your address. How did the Igby go? <laughs> I went pretty good. Uh, the Donkey Kong Forums website won. Ended up winning uh, with Retro Uprising coming with a close second. Oh, and cool. I, and I think the Galloping Ghost was third. And then the Aussie, the Aussie players were fourth. Because we had six websites all together. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we uh, we squeaked by by a little over a hundred and some points. To win How did the Twin Galaxies website do? No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. We kid, we I'm kid. Joking. Uh, I Come thought on. that was funny. <laughs> So how close are you, Nick, to beating Estel's record? Oh uh, no, he already continued. Since they already continued once, probably not very close. <laughs> I don't even think I don't even think he got a hundred thousand. <laughs> no. I didn't even look at this. Oh wow. Yeah, when you continue you lose your score on yeah. this game. Damn. Uh, I will say in my defense, it has been years since I've played this game, so Yeah. at, at my highest point I can get to the last boss without continuing, and then he really? just wipes you out. Then he just wipes you out. I never owned this system. I just played it periodically at Mike's house, so I never uh, had a chance to finish finish the game myself. I think that was one of my favorite systems with the Saturn. I mean, was I, had it really? all, uh, I had all the working designs art because I, I love RPGs. So I picked oh. up Pins of Dragon Saga, oh. Magic Knight Ray Earth, Dragon Force. Um, I had basically almost all the RPGs for it. And I had Damn. a lot of the uh, import shooters like Radiant Silver Gun, Sexy Parodius. Uh, just love all, I just love that system. Did you own it when it was uh, when it came out? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did yeah, you I buy? It. I can't remember. Could you? Because I mean, I know a lot of the games didn't come out here, right? It was quite a few. Yeah, a lot I'm of back. good Japanese uh, releases didn't come out over here. Did you buy the games from over there? Yeah, like uh, Dungeons and Dragons, you know you, that didn't come out over here. Radiant Silver Gun was another one. Uh, the sexiest Parodia shooter. Um, I had the Dragon Ball Z titles that never came oh, out no over shit. here. Yeah. Wow. So there's a, there's a lot of great Dragon Ball Z Legends. Uh, there was a lot of great games. Uh, all the Neon Genesis Evangelion games. How many games? I mean, I don't. If you probably don't know exactly well, how many games Wikipedia for. Uh, no, I know that. I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking on a show. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Uh, um, no, how many games came out in America? Like compared to the total number that actually came out for the system, was it fifty percent, or was it like less than that, or more? Uh, I would say a little over fifty percent. I would imagine. Okay, that's not too bad, I yeah. guess. Because I mean. I mean, this oh, is, I know bad. the system was never a huge success <laughs> over in the States, so. Yeah, I mean, Japan kept it rolling for a long time. They had, of course, the adult games and all that good stuff. <laughs> oh, but, naturally. <laughs> but they, X-Men versus they had all the, another game. People in the chat. Yeah, they had, they had some awesome games that come out over there. And I remember I picked up uh, Radiant Silver Gun at a KB toy store, and they were clearancing oh. everything out, and I got it for $9.99. Nice. Oh my god, that's, that's yeah. a good deal. Well, yeah, and now that was it's... one of those things, um, especially in the mid '90s, which a lot of people who, I mean, if you're younger, you don't remember the mid '90s uh, quite so well. But it was almost kind of like a dead zone for video games. It was kind of a transition period. The Genesis and the Super Nintendo had been out for years at that point, and PlayStation really didn't become super big till what '97, I think. Probably yeah, Final yeah. Fantasy 7 and 8 came out. But um, I remember the Saturn, it was out and we knew about it because we were such video game fans. But um, at the same time, it wasn't, it was it was expensive and it was kind of hard to find any titles for it. But I just, we always knew that it was like the video game player's video game system because they had so many RPGs and all that stuff. And RPGs weren't quite as popular yet until, you know, later in the 90s. So it was always one of those systems that, 
I didn't play till later, but um, I always read about it a lot. So that's one of the reasons I got the the original PlayStation because they came out with all those RPGs, all, all the Final Fantasies. Uh, Oh, let's see, Thousand Arms, Rhapsody, a lot of the Atlas RPGs. And Legend Working of Designs. Dragoon. Yeah. And uh, Working Designs came out, uh, was it uh, with the Lunars? The yep. big box sets, Lunar yep. 1 and 2. And they came, oh, that they was had, like, Saturn? No, no that was PlayStation. The, the PlayStation. No, was PlayStation 1. Oh, that was for, okay, okay. I was going to say, that's well, what I thought. but. And then the Symphony of the Night. What well, actually the yep. Saturn had, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The Japanese version, where you could choose between Alucard and I forgot the chick's name, I mean, but you can actually <laughs> use two different characters. I mean, you know, you know what? The Saturn's great, PlayStation's one great, but I mean, Sega CD oh, had Echo the Dolphin. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. ew, Sega CD, the Defender of the Future no, for yeah, Saturn. Yeah, man. Echo <laughs> the Dolphin, which we'll be playing next week. Yeah, maybe. We'll Everyone see. knows oh, that Defender of the Future for Saturn. Echo and the Dolphin the will be a reoccurring series segment so. on this show. So sorry. <laughs> um, are you guys ready to play Moon Patrol? I am. You have trouble, Glenn? Are you ready? Okay. I'm gonna show it. the. Uh, I'm gonna go do the uh, trading card thing, real. I'm actually prepared now, so uh, let me get through this. Just for Walter asked me to do this. It's so not that you weren't prepared. You, we just couldn't see. We it. couldn't read it. We we're using a too small of a screen. Um, on this day in August 22 in 1983, Terry Wilson scored four million three hundred eighty-two thousand six hundred points on Time Pilot. Hmm, cool. I guess that was a world record at that point in time. Right, cool. And we'll just do one more. I've never heard of these or even, you know, so. <laughs> Whatever, consider. John Craig, uh, 1998, this day in history, scored a world record of 4,100,000, I'm sorry, 4,120,000 points on Raiden Fighters 2 uh, for the Ooh. arcade at Funhouse nice. Arcade in Tulsa, Oklahoma, nope. during the Twin Galaxies crowning the video game superstars of Tulsa tournament. C card. 1,209. So that's like a continuation. You want to see a little bit more story? Go to that card. So that's another card that Walter's putting out this year. We sh Maybe we'll have another one next week. So uh, that's the trading card of the week. I guess that's a good idea hey. to call it that. So, Yay! Yay, hey. Hey, 1983! Go, go to your local GameStop hey. and buy a pack of cards because they're not there. All right. <laughs> can can, 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 can we just, like, induct today. years into GameStop? Stuff like that? <laughs> like, 1986, that was a good year in video games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see some oh, Moon Patrol, wow. boys. I'll, I'll right. come and beat the world record in Galactic Attack in the last 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all right. <laughs> 15 minutes? Okay. Okay, Ghost I'll start, part, like, brother. I'll start, like, in 10 minutes, and then if I get close, we'll, we'll turn the screen back on me. Babe. I see you're clicking and, like, firing and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be my loud house controller. It makes all kinds of noise. Noise. The share screen thing isn't it working for me, it don't seem. I think it's yeah, working for me. Uh, we're only seeing you. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, Wayne hey. Wolf HD, were you with John McAllister the whole time he broke the Asteroids World Record? Did you stay awake all those 68 hours as well? I, I, I can't even stay awake for 24. Hey guys, whoever's in Skype doing clickety clackety. Yeah. Oh, is it coming That's from three. It's me. Unfortunately, my controller makes an ass load of noise. <laughs> That's okay. Get some WD-40 in that. <laughs> A lot Never of it, mind. please. Yeah. Can you try to see if you can broadcast yours? We're only seeing you. We're not seeing your great moon patrol. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, I can't get yeah. the share screen thing to work either. Oh, man. It's going to be galactic attack all So, night. do you guys want to hear a fun story about John McAllister with that record break attempt? Or, I guess, uh, success? Doesn't matter. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 
Let's go uh, why not? Sorry. So he he got do his it. breaks. Uh, what he would do, he would uh, he would get so many extra lives that he would build them up to where he could literally stop playing for like forty five minutes at a time uh, without losing the game. And oh, wow. he would take like showers and like en- uh, like energy drinks, things like that. And the last break he took, about an hour before he broke the record, he went to take a shower and fell asleep in the shower. And we had to oh. like bang up. We had a bang on the back door, like boom, boom, boom. Get out of here right now! Like freaking out because he got down to like three lives left. Oh man! Oh. Yeah. Wow. It was pretty panicky. Like the news had just showed up at that point too because they wanted to watch it happen. But uh, he he was a zombie <laughs> at the end of that. <laughs> oh god, dude! Did you yeah, we, like give him a B twelve shot right in the face? He, he never told us that we interviewed him on our, when we did the yeah, Twin Galaxy podcast. About, he failed to mention that. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> talk about that it's kind of, of stuff. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'm but glad he still glad. did it. So I mean, I would have I would have told I. That's a funny aspect of the story. Though. That's like one of the best parts. Yeah, I mean, that's like I went down to three lives and I came back and I got the world record. I'd have been cocky about Heck that. Heck yeah! And then, yeah. but I would have just GTA like owned 5. up and said I did it on purpose. You know? yeah. <laughs> I was there hanging out with him because I used to run a website called ChroniclesOfTheNerds.com, and uh, we were just documenting all of it. And oh, that 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 was uh, I remember that. That's been. Uh... He did, did. He did joust shortly after, or did he do joust before? I can't remember. I, I think he did joust after. After, yeah. Because I remember <laughs> announcing that one. We didn't joust, talk to him. Yeah, that's right. Or, or may, maybe we talked. You know Love what? To share so much. Get back. We talked to him about joust. We didn't talk to him about asteroids. Oh, was that's, that it? Yeah. Whatever it was, I remember. I I believe I I cleverly asked him how much cocaine he did. To survive the event. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? <laughs> that was actually like, the point of our conversation. <laughs> he drank more soda those six days than I've drank in my entire life. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he was yeah. he was sugar crashing like crazy. You know, oh. that's actually what, I mean, the most I've ever stayed up is, you know, like 48 hours. But to me, at that point, the thing that helps me the most is just water. Like, cause you drink yeah, uh, eventually yeah. sugar and caffeine stops working. So, yep. I can have a great diet so I can make you like nine curious. hours at a time. This game's super racist. It's all about those electrolytes. Nine hours and I'm out. <laughs> hey, I got 178,000. And go, I think it's a. <laughs> I'm it's pretty a happy start. It. That was Proud. after continue. No, no, no. I redid it again. GG. Oh, okay. GG. After this attempt, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I bet I can get at least 400,000. On your first try? Uh, what, have, did you play this earlier today? No, I have not. I just set it up and I haven't had time. No, I've been not surprised. You know, so. I just got Borderlands 2 today. It's so awesome. I'm oh, yeah. Playing Borderlands 1. I have it on PC. Hey, I got it on PC too. Do you have Steam? Yo, I have Steam. Yo, friend me. Yeah, uh, just put your uh, yeah your name in the chat, and I'll friend you on Steam. Like Skype chat, or just like. Sure, what? Skype chat will work. All right. Yeah. I'm kind of new to this whole thing. Like, I just I saw it on Twitch today, and I'm like, all right, that seems cool. So. Well, cool. Well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, um, we're uh, like I said, Twin Galaxies is the uh, record-keeping uh, standard for thirty some years at some point in time. And oh wow, they tracked all the arcade world records uh, from the beginning. Walter Day. Um, so and, and uh, Jace Hall is uh, l- luckily taking it over and uh, going to bring it to where it needs to be, so we can start submitting scores again. For example. One of our guests, who's in Cam 3, has the world record here on Galactic Attack, the game we're playing. Yeah. Um, and, you can go, and you go to TwinGalaxies.com, you can see the rules for submitting. Well, not for no, submitting, but the rules for, um, you know, how many. Like, for example, Nick just used a continue, so his attempts disqualified. But, you this know, is all my that, that was my stuff, second continue. You know, what you can do. <laughs> of course, if you've seen King of Kong, you know, you kind of know a little bit about it. So, mm. world records of video games, check it out. Yeah, I will. Don't worry. Speaking of King and Kong, did you guys ever interview uh, Steve Weeby? Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, Actually, we drove Steve Weeby around uh, 
<laughs> New Jersey. New Jersey. We're, we've came, been kind of a chauffeur for a few events. Yeah, we had <laughs> you some, guys uh, do the show. a couple of fun can, nights. Can I, run with, can I run with you guys tonight? Sure. We don't have a rental car. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, actually got tell into you about the, with the you gum multiple times. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> there's some stories. From 2011, um, Walter Day and Atumwa had the International Video Game Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And, uh, you know, Steve Wiebe, B- Billy Mitchell... Um, I mean, we can go on for, there's over, there's a 30, 30 people were inducted to the hall of fame. And, uh, you know, so we're in a Tumwa, And if you've been to a Tumwa, it's a little town in the middle of Iowa, you know, you're 45 minutes, an hour from an airport. So, okay. you know, Steve, we, you know, we're going around town and like, Oh, let's go find a bar. Oh, this bar is closed. This bar is closed. So, you know, everywhere you want to go, you have to take a car. So Weeby and his uh, Andrew Laylaw, the Galaga World Champion holder, you know, they're like, "Hey, can we hang with, can we bum a ride with you guys?" And we're like, "Sure." And then uh, Jonathan F- Fatality too. Well, he wanted to come with us because he wanted to be the DD, and that was the best part. <laughs> Is <laughs> uh, Fatality was our DD the whole night. We had eight people in a Dodge Magnum. Just oh, driving God. around Iowa, and man, it was a blast. Now, his reason for being the DD was he wanted to play poker that night in the oh. hotel when we got back. So, I mean, he got he got his sh- he got his chauffeur's money, of course, that night. But <laughs> it was it was still a blast. Did Steve ever say about the uh, all the uh, chewing gum he got? Never talked to him about that. No. Uh, I went up to his house in Washington uh, to interview him, I think, in 2010. And uh, we got to hang out in his garage and, you know, sit on at the machine and everything he played at. And sitting on top of the machine, he had a couple of boxes of, uh, like, five gum. And uh, on the side of the machine were five or six more boxes, not like small cases, but boxes. He was given, a, like, a lifetime supply of gum. Oh, and God. he was so proud of it. But by the end of the interview, he was like, hey, do you guys want some gum? We're like, uh, sure. Is that how many boxes do you want? <laughs> <laughs> so we took like four wow. boxes of gum. <laughs> That's awesome. That's I remember cool. I'm doing a YouTube video for that. So 206,000, but that's after. No, this is the fourth. You get a big bonus for killing the boss. Yeah. This is the farthest yeah. I've gotten. Really hey, yeah, Glenn, Glenn, yep. you guys get this. You guys get the, you get broadcasting your guys' game or no? You don't see I it. can't get the share screen feature to work. Uh, yeah, like I did yeah, last I don't think week. Mine was showing up. I don't. I don't think mine was showing up at all. Uh, yeah, my share, yeah. share screen is really weird. It's like with like a big thing like this right now, you guys are doing, it just sometimes just won't work. It's weird. Set, you know, Skype's never perfect. No. Now, for the record, but- attempts. You guys can't accept emulated games, right? Yeah, with Twin Galaxy. Well, yeah, right now. As right it, now, as right it is right now, right. I mean, uh, the things of Twin Galaxies may be changing for emulation, but the idea is original hardware only. So um, there is what's called MAME, um, which is accepted uh, emulation, which is arcade, but that's a separate category. Uh, for example, there's a MAME Donkey Kong World Record, and then there is a you know original hardware arcade cabinet for Donkey Kong. And same with all oh. the other arcade games. Um but yeah, I've been to a few subject. different record attempts. Yeah, I'm up, up in Portland, so. Portland has some good places for arcades. Yeah, Ground Control, the Barcade. Yep. Yeah. I have one arcade within 100 miles, and it has like five games out of 30 that work. <laughs> There's actually there no <laughs> arcades near me. I'm, I'm in New York. I'd say there's three arcades within 10 miles of me, and one of them has a bar that's styled uh, uh, to be like the bar in Tron. That's uh, ground control. Yeah, I've, I've heard, heard of, of that place. I actually talked to yeah. Bill Carlton. He's from up there, Portland area. He's He goes to ground control a lot. That's where he actually did his asteroids attempt, ah. his ground control. Yeah, I, I got a couple arcades near me. One in Columbus, the 16-bit bar and arcade, and I got one in Cincinnati, which is closer to me, uh, the place retro arcade. 
here in Michigan lately, it's been getting crazy. They're, they're kind of opening up all over the place, which is kind of awesome. We're, we're being very, we're very fortunate in Michigan. There's about, there's one barcade in Grand Rapids. Um, then there's some few, there's, uh, there's a few that just have like 80 games and we have one actually in Brighton, which is close to Metro Detroit over here that just opened up that has oh, really? 40. They're all, but they're all classic games. It's, I mean, I kind of like the 90 games myself, yeah, but they have all, they have like 45 classic games and then they have, I mean, pinball as well. And it's just, and that's all it is. It's like, it's coming back around here in Michigan. It's. It's kind of pretty awesome, and of course, I haven't spent any time there because we're doing other things. But because <laughs> life, because life gets down away. Your world. Plus the show. I want to do the show. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely. <laughs> tell well, tell those arcades to start spreading it out towards the state that is next to you. Because, like I said, I, we only have one arcade. Well, from where I live, that's in the Madison area, and. Some of the games, yeah. We, we in, on the west side of Michigan, there's like four or five pretty awesome arcades. So maybe you can have one of those. All right, here we go. Sweet. Former world record holder trying to go for it. What was your <laughs> four hundred thousand? Nowhere near the world record. That's half the reason why I got good enough to kill screen turbo pack because that was one of the few machines that actually worked at that arcade. Speaking of old games, I have this mint condition half life disc. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no scratches at all on it. I keep it in the case. Got the original but, key? Would you use the key? Uh, I use it. Of course. I'll Good. give you a, I'm doing a walkthrough. I'm doing a walkthrough <laughs> on Half Life. Oh, nice. Right One of my favorites. YouTube. I'll give you ten bucks for the disc. <laughs> I'm keeping it. Can we? I'll oh, give you a dollar for a CDR copy. I got a I got a mint condition Half Life disc somewhere. Actually, here. I do. T I don't have a mint one, but I have a copy. It's, it's cool to have. I could download a mint condition one from Steam. <laughs> I also got a mint condition one on Steam too. You can also you can also pay like, what's it? It's like ten bucks still. You can pay like thirty bucks for like a huge collection. It's okay, so awesome. uh, I'll give you ten bucks, and then whatever fee the shipping cost is. I'm gonna keep it, like I said. <laughs> oh, I typed in Steam into Steam. I don't know why. I meant to type in Half Life. What, uh, what, would, ten bucks. what would you? Okay, the question is: Is what? Uh, what would you be willing to? How much money would would it have to take for you to part with it? No, I want to keep it because I'm like playing it right now. Okay. Everybody has a it's price. It's not like that. Everybody has a price. <laughs> no, I would. No, I'd give it. I don't know, if I was done playing it and didn't want to play it anymore, I'd probably give it like 10 bucks. Exactly. Oh, okay. I'll give oh, you okay. that $10. I'll have two of them on my wall. You guys remember the Sega channel? Right here. I never I heard of it. I uh -huh. never purchased it. Go on my wall. It's not working. <laughs> nice. God damn it. <laughs> to this day, it's still my favorite video game. Oh my god, that guy ever. doing terrible. Down to my last Sega life. channel? Yeah. I'm not a, I was never really a big fan of Sega. Oh, I was terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> 73,000. It was so ahead of its time. I mean, like, it was like 1992, and you would get this huge, bulky cartridge that had a coaxial cable plugged into the back of it and you could play like 45 different sega games you know a month and, and uh, so i mean it was essentially like it's like what laid the groundwork for like xbox I play live more time than you play with that's me. awesome even though I it is sega, sega channel but back that, in the day awesome. <laughs> yeah and every month the, the, the game changed out had something like that in the early 80s as well Not that That's I how I found games like Pirates it. Gold. That game was awesome. Yeah, how was the connection Pirates, when you played on the Sega Channel? How was how did the Sega did the Sega Channel like work all the time? Yeah, it worked great because what it would do uh, whenever you want to play a game, you would say, "Okay, load this game," and it would just download it. And it was a coaxial cable, so it was essentially like a uh, like a caveman version of 
you know, yeah. uh, like co- you know, of a cable internet connection because it piggybacked off of your cable signal because you had to get it through your television provider, and it would just download the game, take like maybe five minutes or so, and then oh, you could play cool. it. That's awesome. Really? So, I mean, was it just existing Sega games, or was there games that were specific to the Sega channel? Uh, they, for a while, would release games only to the Sega channel, and depending oh. on how well it performed, it would then be put into uh, retail. No so. kidding. So there were some games that probably never made it. Oh, yeah. There were some terrible ones. I can't remember <laughs> their names, but they were terrible. <laughs> Well, my opinion on Sega is that most of them are terrible, but that's me. I'm an Inglendo, not Glenesis. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Even though Glenesis works way better. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't start a don't start a flame war now, Jesus. Why not? I think they're both awesome. No, yeah, no, no, this is a great argument that I have with a couple of my friends every now and then. We're oh, that's what. Glenn, no hard feelings. That's why it's perfect. We go back and forth. All Tur- the time. Turbo Graphics was better than both of them, so it doesn't. It's a moot point, really. <laughs> <laughs> Turbo Graphics is awesome. <laughs> thirty? No, not not thirty-two. <laughs> so unfortunately, for the for the Fourth of July, uh, we had like during the fireworks in town here. There was a childhood friend that came back to town to visit. And I hadn't seen him in like since I graduated, which is like twelve years ago, eleven, twelve years ago. And uh, for one of the very first things he said, because I used to go over to his house and play games, and he was big into Sega, and I was big into Super Nintendo. But one of the very first things he brought up, he's like, "Do you still hate the Sega as much as you did as a kid?" I'm like, "Yep, pretty much." Do you even do you own one? <laughs> Can I send you one? I actually own one oh, with okay. a Sega CD. A working Sega CD? Yep, and it's just collecting cool. dust. Cool, you can send it to me. Uh, I have a CDX. A CDX. All right, there we go, Nick. I did a lot better. There you go. I haven't died yet, so. Yes, I did need a warm up game. No, I did better my first, my second go. I got like 100,000 the first time, then I got 178 Mommy, the second, so. Move. And then I got like a million three the third time, but I mean, no biggie. So, Estelle, are you going to be competing tonight or tomorrow for the Donkey Kong Open? Uh, probably tomorrow evening, because oh. uh, first thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to head down to the arcade, visit Carrie, and play some food fight, some Moon Patrol down there on the arcades. Whoops. Tron. <laughs> Whoops, I accidentally like left. Welcome back. <laughs> I was playing the game, so I didn't notice. Sorry. Oh, so it's it's no problem. <laughs> oh, He's trying to go over that to hit the plus record. button, not the end. Two hundred twenty-five thousand. Not too let's bad, try, dude. Let's try this no again. lives lost. Yeah. Better watch out. You guys, uh, you, you, you guys see you my screen? It. Is it not working? I uh, are you, you in it. four? You in four? Yeah. yeah uh, it says no huh? video. We're doing. We're we're in a little spot in the bottom right. And this is. It's. Do you see the diagonal screen up there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's where we are. No, I was just wondering. Hey, right. All done. Oh, there's the first death. Are you guess you haven't even died yet. No, it was the first one. So I have uh, the Twin Galaxy the Fight one. video open as well as Skype, and so there's that delay. And I keep on wanting to make fun of the hipster drinking apple cider in in chat, but I keep on realizing it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. My name is Apple Dunk. Does that count? <laughs> sure. Sure. What kind of apple cider is it? It is this. I have a couple of different kinds, but right now I'm drinking uh, Hornsby's Amber. Oh, okay. Cool. I, we should specify it's not apple cider, it's hard cider. Ah, yeah. 253,000. Yeah. Nice. I mean, because then it could just be like Mott's or something. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, there's the Homer Simpson cider and the Ned Flanders cider. So now we have oh. that one badass hipster <laughs> drinking while on the Skype call. That's new. Dude, that's how we're that stuff I we drank in Milwaukee, that, all the time. that stuff was good. <laughs> that Smith and Forge? Yeah, man. They started selling that literally like when we got back, I swear. Okay, you, you know what the Twin Galaxy scoreboard is need, is missing? What? what two-player galactic what? attack? I agree. Worldwide. I don't. This uh, is the best one. 
M. All right, how about this? You and Nick, Mike, and me and Estelle, or Estelle will, will go for it. Okay, so we'll battle for it? That'd yeah. be cool. Get, it's a lot get, harder get, to play those games too, player. Okay, now quick question. Are we going to do the new rules that people are following for other games? Oh, as the soon blindfolded as the, thing? No, as soon as the first person is out of lives, or you can't steal lives in this game. No, but, it's not like Contra. No. But so when so when both players are dead, add the two scores together, and I'd that's say how it after be the first player loses all of his lives, yeah. you say that way. No okay. Way. Yeah. But okay. Well, let's say we do two player life force, Mike, and then you I die know. like a two thousand points, and then yeah. I carry it ten million. Okay, that's fine. I, that's <laughs> why I'm asking. I don't I mean, find a ringer. That's, well, that's, that's why, my reason. That's why we're asking: <laughs> Are we allowing ringers or are we not allowing? Ringers? Nope, not All allowed right. the ringers. All right, here we go. Can we beat 900,000? No. No. Probably, probably yeah. not. <laughs> Can we beat 200,000? Yeah. You hit start, maybe. maybe mine doesn't work. Maybe my controller doesn't work. You hit start, maybe then it Yo, lets you guys jump. got it. You got this. No, we don't. Play some, like, epic <laughs> dubstep or something. Oh, my controller's broken. <laughs> Your controller's broke? Or maybe it's not plugged in all the way. Yeah, go find I that. have... Only 14 more Sega Saturn controllers yeah, upstairs. You have 14 Sega yes. Saturn controllers? Because remember we wanted to play six-on-six six hockey? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> and that wonderful hockey game. God, what a great game that was. What was that unplayable PA-94 or All something Star, like that? ESPN All-Star Hockey. God, the ESPN games have always been so wonderful. Oh, we're good. <laughs> great website, great video game manufacturer. Uh, my B button doesn't work. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Kira, Kira Gari wants to know if he can keep playing, why should it be out? Because, like I said, perfect example is Life Force. Mike could play that game for five minutes, lose all of his lives, and then I carried the game 20-plus hours. And I just piggy banked off that. Yep, and all he Good. was is really just attaching his name to Good. my score. Good for Mike. Good for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 good, good thing he was friends with Glenn for life more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, that would change the bubble bobble score. My bubble bobble scores with Josh. And the four players. I hold the high score of uh, bubble bobble at the uh, ground control arcade in Portland. Nice. I love that awesome. game. Awesome. What it's was your final? Uh, 1.5 million. Nice. Oh, nice. Very oh, nice. Has a, is that is that for the NES or is that something else? No, it's the arcade. Arcade. Well, it's it's kind also on NES, but it's like I was playing the arcade oh, sorry, for the NES that my friend has. It's like okay. really bad, but it's addicting. This game's a lot easier with two players. Oh my god! It's like <laughs> weird. <laughs> I could generally get to like level forty-five without losing a life. Wow! Really? It's, yeah, Gary, I play the game a people. lot. If two people can't do better than one, then that one, cl that, uh, let me redo that. If two people can't do better than one, then clearly that one deserves to win. That's why they make single player trackings. True. I think I played it on uh, the Ultimate Gaming Machine when I was down last at uh, HD Films before Rock. Twin Galaxies was uh, there. Oh, wow. I shot them. Started from the bottom now. We're I'm here. gonna live. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Kurgar, you're gonna start seeing me more in the lounge because I'm moving a mile and a half away from HD Films. <laughs> oh, oh nice. awesome! I bet we both get the bonus for beating the boss. We'll find out. If Nick doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, we both get the ball. Oh, we're going to beat that 800,000 or 900,000. Oh, oh you're already Except Nick's already down his last life. Yeah, may or may not have already died a couple times. You didn't restart yet, though. No, hell no, I haven't. So we're still good. This is still valid. So solid as hell. So if there was health, I'd get it for you. So I should sacrifice my body for mm -hmm. you. Definitely. Like I just did yep. right there. See, that's that's a good teammate. <laughs> I'll protect you, Nick. Thanks, Mike. If anyone's going to die, it's going to be me. I want all the health. 
Don't steal the food, dude. <laughs> I'm That's protecting what the you. yellow is. That's food. Hey, stay That's behind like me. I'm protecting you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because it, it works totally. It deflects it. <laughs> well, I can take another bullet. Otherwise, our attempt is. I'm over. like going towards the bullets. I am awesome. Uh, I wonder if uh, Galactic Attack for S Sega uh, Saturn here is going to go up in price on eBay because Could, of us playing. Oh, probably. I would imagine. <laughs> highly doubtful, but you never know. No, I mean, I think it's highly likely, actually. I mean, it happens all the time, actually, with our podcast. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know. It seems like anything that's not a sports game is it will go up in value. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, Nick. I can't protect you anymore. Next one dies. Look at our score. No, we're man. We're great at this game. <laughs> yeah, you guys are doing pretty well. Oh, mommy. Yeah, hey. baby. Ooh, wrecked. We're doing pretty good. When we get through this, that would be Ruh -ruh. that would be a decent score, in my opinion. For for how many times we've played this in the past years? No, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I don't think I've played this together with you since like oh seven, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it was a long time. <laughs> Got to get that little guy down there because he's gonna go. Ah, so oh, we'll be right scoring. back. Sixty six. Well, One minute, going. guys. When? Wow, really? We're at the end of the show. Wow. No, awesome. no, I'm, I'll am i be back in a minute. Somebody's knocking oh. on the door. Oh, oh, I thought you meant one minute. I was going to say, damn, that was fast. <laughs> that, was, that was a quick hour and a half. Shit. That was pretty cool, so man. So we had 160 and about 170. We can, we can definitely do better. Yeah, we can do that. better than that. I, I wasn't even paying attention, really. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's another game I really loved. I bought was uh, Macross. Do you remember the love? That was of uh, Saturn Import. That was another great shooter. Pretty easy, but you know, if you're like an anime fan for Macross, you'd really love it. Oh, that's pretty cool. It only came out in Japan. Yeah. Guess I gotta get. I need to get. I have to get a different Saturn to play those games, right? Or mod mine. No, I mean no. There's actually a cart. It's called an ST key. It's like a four meg in one. Because uh, some of the Japanese games actually had like a four meg cart that goes oh, with, with it. it. Yeah. Hi. Like the street. Uh, let's see. Was um. I'm gonna put on my Viking hat. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, X Men versus Street Fighter and no, uh, I can't some of the this. Marvel it versus hurts. Street Fighter. They all had some. They came with a four meg cart. Now that's a cool. I mean, that's a cool idea. I mean, especially at the time when it was. I mean, well, and it was harder to get games. It wasn't like the internet today. But um, where, where did you buy them? Did you have to go to a store and pre order and order them? Or yeah, yeah. Some of the games actually KB at one point carried some of the import games, which really surprised me. You know, wow, as I looked did they really? Cycles. Yeah, that's where I that's got the awesome. Radiant Silver Gun for ten bucks. But it, oh, you know, they had they had some of them games. I was like, "What the hell is this?" And I went ahead and picked it up. And then I started I really looking like online. Uh, so. You order them through your magazines, of course. Hey, we yeah, got this game. You know, Dungeons and Dragons was like sixty four bucks. I went ahead and ordered that. And Sweet. It, you know, awesome. No, when uh, I think it was in ninety seven, I think um, when they were just. I think it was Toys R Us was just dumping their inventory of Virtual Boy games and the Virtual Boy um, for obvious reasons. <laughs> but um, I bought one for 40 bucks or something like that. And uh, and they had all the games there. And basically all of them were import games. Wow. Like, I would say I probably own what? I don't know, 10 or 11, maybe 12 Virtual Boy games. And I think nine of them are all in Japanese. So. <laughs> I only have two or three. I think I have Mario. Yeah, I have Mar Mario. Wario tennis. World. Well, tennis is well, tennis too. comes with it. Yeah. But I think Wario World, uh, Vector something, I can't remember. There's a, I mean, I a lot of people, I actually, there's a couple of games I really um, loved for the Virtual Boy. And I got, I was lucky the Virtual Boy never gave me a headache. 
it still doesn't. So I could play it for hours on end. And um, <laughs> I used to dominate that. So obviously we used to have our video game championship and it was kind of almost pointless at a time for people to even play the system because I was the only one who could play it. But um, eventually I started sucking like I did at all video games, but um, which was a yep. bummer. The pinball back, game back. for it is pretty sweet. And the Tetris game is kind of fun. Pinballs, that pinball for Virtual Boy is great. I think we should do a show like that where we're playing head-to-head -head Virtual Boy oh, yeah, where definitely. no one can see what <laughs> we're doing. I think that would be great. Video. we got to yeah, find it, a way to hook up. I don't know how we Has somebody do that. done that? They did it at E3 the year it came out. It wasn't in 3D, obviously. Well, since yeah. like it ever was in 3D, but um, yeah, I think they had it ported to a big screen or something like that to show it off. Oh, obviously, it off. yeah, because yeah. they had to. But um, I don't know. It'd been interesting. I wonder if you could port. Why didn't they come out with the Virtual Boy games for the 3DS? Yeah. Well, I mean... It would have been awesome. I mean, those I mean, were, like, some of the best Nintendo games ever made. Or just made. redesign them. I mean, they might have. We're not we're, we're not really into handhelds. No, that's true. Maybe there are games very similar. I mean, I bet there's a tennis game. I know. I never... I still never bought Waterworld for Virtual Boy. It was, like... That's uh, the one game the rarest missing. one. It was so hard to find it, and it was so expensive. You can play like nine players, dollars. though. Yeah, no. It, it was an option where you can, players. you can take turns. I want to see Virtual Boy games on the Oculus Rift. <laughs> That'd be oh my god. Cool. <laughs> Virtual Boy. I actually Dude. owned one of those at one point in time. They were sweet, man. We have three or four. Yeah, we have a bunch of them. Nick, did I tell you what happened to my uh, Virtual Boy? No, you didn't. Oh, so... They were doing citywide cleanup, and I had a box of junk at my parents' house, and my virtual boy was in the one of the boxes, and they put it out, and no. somebody swiped it up. Dude, oh, that's man. bullshit. And I had, like, a bunch of games for it in that box. Oh, dude, that sucks. I know. Did you have Waterworld by chance? No. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know anyone who has Waterworld. Angry video game nerd. Yeah, but he has everything. Yeah, he has everything. everybody sends him yeah. everything. It's, e yeah, it's easier when people just randomly mail you stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so is it the same Waterworld that's in The Simpsons where Millhouse puts in 50, 50 uh, quarters and then he takes two steps and it says enter 50 more quarters? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hope so. Speaking of the Sim 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 Simpsons, God, please, Jesus. The, Simpsons. Um, the, the marathons this weekend or this week or next two weeks. What? Uh, the Simpsons like marathon days. on FX. The F every episode. 12 days. Thank you. Every episode. So you can safely I'm watch the first five days without getting bored because after five days, it gets into the terrible episodes of the show. <laughs> I lost interest in that show uh, about midway through season 10. After Everything after that, meh. Yeah. Mm. Well, when you have that I got that way episodes, with Family Guy. Can yeah, I'll tell days? you what. I, I mean, and I stopped watching The Simpsons ship 95. Um, so about season ago. 10. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I don't know what season, season 6 or 7 or something like that. And it oh, wasn't yeah, yeah. because like I thought the quality was low. I just... I was 16, 17. I just didn't watch TV as much as I had prior. Um, but I'll tell you what, on occasion, probably once a year, I'll watch Fox's, you know, Family Guy and all that, Bob's Burgers and Simpsons. And for the last three or four years, every time I've watched that night, the Simpsons episode has hands down been my favorite episode I watched. Like, I have always thought it was funnier than Family Guy. I don't know why. I know I'm in a total minority, but... I like Bob. I like Bob's Burgers. That show's pretty funny. Eugene Merman's awesome in that show. Yeah, no, that show was very funny. Again, I've only seen it like three times, but there's an episode they did where it was uh, an homage to E.T. Where Eugene Merman's character he finds a talking toilet in the forest, and he it becomes his best friend, and they do a lot of things in homage to E.T. It's hilarious. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Goddamn. 
I don't know who it is. Somebody has a big feedback going on. I don't know. I doubt it's us, but I just thought they were whistling. Whistle yeah, while you whistle. It's not me because I mute my mic when I'm not talking. That's gone. It's gone Same. now. Oh, uh, I was gonna mute my mic and see if it was me. So I have my air conditioner going on like right there. So do we, but it it seems to be gone. Yeah, it was only for about five. Yeah, seconds. but when I mentioned it, of course it went away. So I heard whistling. <laughs> I thought it was a jaunty right, I'm too tall actually. for this. Let me turn, bring it up. I'm like 6'2". So I always have my webcam pointed up a little bit. Now, mommy, get out of here. Good old days of the Simpsons when Conan O'Brien was a writer for the show. That was good. That was early. Right? That it, was what? Yeah, 89 yeah. to 92, I think. Uh, let's say like 93, because I mean, I remember one episode he did. He did the uh, the monorail episode. That was him? Yep. Yeah. Oh, no wonder why that. Of course that was him. God, no, what that episode is amazing. God, was the monorail that long ago? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I remember watching that when it aired. <laughs> yeah, the monorail came, episode came out on uh, January 14th, 1993. Oh, Jesus. That's oh, nineteen eighty, dude. Yeah, I was in sixth grade. <laughs> this game didn't even come out yet. <laughs> the system hadn't even been out yet. Mimi, <laughs> got it. Yeah, dude, Mike. You know what hockey season that was? Oh, the greatest hockey season yeah, of all time. Ninety three, ninety three. Ninety three. Oh, fail. Uh, you know what? I think you're. Wow, you're pretty. Your Galactic solid. Attack uh, world record is probably going to be safe. Yeah. Oh no shit. Dude. I really thought. I was yeah. Scared. Closer, because I when I sent my four hundred fifty thousand, I know I didn't spend long. Oh, but sorry, I'm out of either out of practice or I just suck at video games. Well, and I mean, Mike, if we can't <laughs> beat it, no one can beat it. So yeah, yeah. So it's that's <laughs> you know what they should. Twin bit. Galaxies sorry. is not sub, uh, accepting submissions. They should grandfather Galactic Attack because nobody's going to beat your score. So yeah, just shut the game. You can't play it anymore. Go around and destroy all the copies yep. except for yours. Well, hey, we will gladly <laughs> hand ours over. I don't even have my car, uh, my copy anymore. Oh, Let me really? See if I can like put yeah. it on what yeah. I'm doing. <laughs> that, 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 that got lost it's in the shuffle working. of my divorce. How long ago did you set the record? That was 2011, I believe. Oh, early, early, we announced early, it. early 2011. We announced it on the show. I remember. Oh, I'm sure we did. I'm sure of we course. were. Of course, I was watching for that. I was, yeah, I was like, "Ooh, Galactic is going to be my record." Oh, okay, let's announce it. So. Oh, that's true. Anytime your record got yeah. beat, we always exactly told you about it. <laughs> <laughs> get it back, Mike. Who who did a, who did he happen to beat to get this <laughs> world record? Oh, you, huh? <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> And he doubled your score. Yep. <laughs> yeah, th no thanks, shit. Glenn. Thanks for the yeah. Now, good, good, good point. Glenn. Yeah, wow. It's Glenn fits in perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so specifically, Conan O'Brien, he wrote. Uh, let's see here. He wrote the New Kids on the Block episode of The Simpsons, Marge vs. the Monorail, Homer Goes to College, and he wrote the Treehouse of Horror number four. Which Which one was that? Um, let's see here. That would be um, the Devil and Homer Simpson. Uh, so like the one where like the cursed donut. Mm. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, the uh, the Gremlin on the school bus and uh, yep the the Dracula one with Mr. Burns. Oh yeah, so one definitely. so one one of the best tree houses. Nice. <laughs> That's the one where they turn the doll, the doll's evil, and then they look in the back and it says "good evil." Yeah. Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> you guys ever seen Family Guy? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I want to. Yeah. yeah. I'm joking. I, re I really like Family Guy. <laughs> oh yeah, I like Family Guy up until like I don't know, like one or two seasons ago. I mean, I bet I'll like it. I just. I wasn't like, oh, I got to see the next episode. No, nah, you know? yeah, I was never actually like that. I was just like, I just watch it whenever it was on. It was pretty funny. Yeah, I never watched until like season six when they're on DVD. I just, my roommate, uh, Chris, I just borrowed all his DVDs and, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Family Guy, this has been around, huh? I should have been watching it. Yeah, I think I've only watched it live probably three or four times. I don't. I mean, it's on that was another, twenty-four hours. That was a day another. And that was channels. another thing is you know, it's, uh, yeah. on DVD it's unrated. You know, 
Oh, is it really? <laughs> yep. Oh, no shit. What about the... Are you guys going to watch the Simpsons Family Guy crossover? Oh, yeah, I totally will. What? I never heard about that. It airs, uh, it's the first episode of the season, so it'll be end of September or something like that, I believe. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, more accurate here. I'm sure it'll be good. Yeah, they put five minutes of the show online. Yeah, I heard about that. Did you watch it? Yeah, it's it's not bad. Like, it's I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting to watch. It kind of reminds me of the Jetsons Flintstone crossover. That's exact. That's what I was hoping. I, I saw that as a kid. That was like one of my favorite cartoons ever. The, the Jetson mm. and uh, shit Flintstones crossover. That was like the best. Oh, it was, was so when awesome. When I was a kid, a- I was so in. I know so, they're doing the Flintstones again eventually because Seth MacFarlane owns the rights to the Flintstones now. So, oh, did he? Oh, oh that's good for him. That's cool. Yeah, good he also what? wants to do a live-action movie as well. With him, of course, him playing Fred oh. Flintstone. I was gonna say he saw the first one, right, or the second one too. And that was with like, they John were those. Goodman. I mean, but those were so good. It's gonna be really hard to live up to that. With, yeah. <laughs> with John Goodman and Kyle McLaughlin, <laughs> Halle, yeah, Halle those, Berry, Rick wasn't. <laughs> Rick Moranis in it too. Yeah, he yeah. played yeah. Uh, Barney. Bar- oh, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> He's probably so stupid. Rosie McDonald. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Worst casting choices ever. <laughs> was, there, was there a video game for those for those movies? There should. It was be. only for the yes. CDI though. Glenn owns. Oh, Glenn owns it. it. Yeah, <laughs> of course I <laughs> own it. It's part of my uh, CDI collection. My massive. So one. you got to stream some CDI, dude. I mean, yeah, you have, please stream some CDI. I want to see it so bad. Do it right now, right now. Speaking hey, speaking um, of uh, almost three hundred thousand. Estel, where can we find you when you stream? Yeah, where can we find... Actually, that's what I kind of wanted to go over um, this weekend again, but let's let everybody know. Because do you think we can get the winner on our show next Friday? Winner, winner, chicken. Depending winner. on who it is, I guess. Maybe. Maybe we can. Uh, Depends on who's, who's going who's gonna to win. I mean, yeah, if, true. If, if Ross wins, I'm pretty sure Ross would come on and play some Zookeeper. Two so, minutes oh, yeah. remaining. Two minutes remaining. I mean, there's... The competition. I mean, Lakeman. If he wins, he'd come on. I'm I'm pretty good friends with most of those guys. Like, yeah, it's a really good community. Everyone is friends with everyone, for the most part. <clears throat> and you think you think the world record's going to be broken this weekend? You, I think you, so. There's a, there's so? a couple people that are just right behind it. I mean, all it's going to take is a good weekend of those guys grinding out some games to get it. Seventeen hundred dollars on the line. Seven. Yeah, we're, I'm we're sorry. Robbie Lightman yes. has a good good chance of doing it. He's been grinding away for the past few weeks and and getting really close. What was he shy? Less than two thousand points from the world record. You know, just within the last couple of weeks. Marky so D he, says that Alan Stahl is in first right now. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I One of the guys that I wanted Sunday. to beat in the tournament's uh, in first right uh, now. Great. Remaining. One minute remaining. One minute. <laughs> you we'll you know what make a very good game? I want Telltale Games to make a Simpsons Treehouse of Horror video game. That'd be awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be fun. Well, we got cool. one minute left, so let's wrap it up here, guys. Yep, uh... Thanks for coming on the show tonight, and uh, you're, gl- um, you're ah, welcome. lost it. I, I'm, 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 I guess not playing and talking. <laughs> That's my problem. Well, you still got bacon. So uh, stay tuned for so next week good. at uh, seven thirty, and uh, we'll hopefully have the Donkey Kong online champion with us. Not next. All right, I'm new. Next Friday. Yep. Next seconds. Friday. Fifteen Every seconds. Friday. Yep. All right. I'll Every Friday. Ten seconds remaining. So uh, for my host, Nick Houselander, Glenn, we'll see you next time. Have a good one, everybody. See you guys. See you all later. And your show.
welcome to Let's Play Infinite Crisis with Jennifer, aka Matt. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up. There it is. 